as you make the cut, when you get done with the cut, let that blade stop down in that pocket. A lot of people make the cuts and then they let this thing come back up as fast as it can while the blade's still spinning. And since this has a brake on it, if that brake starts to kick in, it throws this whole machine forward. And look what it does. It re-exposes the blade. This shield, the further down I come, the more blade it is, that it's exposed. And if you remember a second ago, we talked about exposure. And this is exactly what I meant. The other thing that's important, if you remember, I talked about the 12 and 3 inch rule. Well, the 3 inch rule, what that means is, when I hold my piece of wood, I want to be certain that I'm at least 3 inches away from my guard in this case, so my hand is going to be way over here. Never will I want to have it under 3 inches. Let me show you how to make a cut. With my piece of wood that I've brought, one of the first things is it happens to have a, a bad cup in it on this one side. So much, in fact, that I could put my finger between the back of the board and that little subfence that I have in there. Well, I wouldn't want to make that cut because it's going to cause a real pinching force on there. To start on creative woodworking, get Woodworking for Beginners by Rogue or Orm. Or visit the website in the description box below for more guidelines.